Hashtags can be super useful and they can get you a ton of exposure, but they can also be super confusing. And in this mini cast, I am going to help you avoid the top mistakes I see people making with hashtags on Instagram. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Episode 241 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the show. We all know what today is, right? Today is my most favorite day of the week, and that's Minicast Day. And the reason why I love Minicast Day so much is that I give you a shot in the arm of value, and then you take whatever you've learned here today, jump on out of the podcast, and then execute it in your business and watch transformation happen. And today we're talking about hashtags. These little buggers can be so confusing. There's so much information about hashtags, yet they are so simple. All you do is put a little number sign in front of a word, and then all of a sudden it opens you up to all this exposure. But I see some mistakes that are made time and time again, and let's clear them up today and get you off on the right foot when it comes to hashtags. Okay, mistake number one I see people make is they use hashtags as the caption. So they've got this great graphic up there and then you go to learn more about the graphic in the caption and all you see are a string of hashtags. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you a story. It doesn't draw you in and those hashtags, they do not offer the user, the audience, the person consuming the information any value whatsoever. So here's the thing to remember. Remember that hashtags are the fuel for your post. They're the thing that are going to drive your post to new eyeballs, but it can't be the content. They just can't be. Instead, you should really create content, written content that engages your audience and sparks conversation. And some examples of these types of posts are things that entertain, things that educate, reward, and inspire your audience. And in a perfect world, I would make sure that you are offering massive value when you do that. You want to delight your audience. You really want them to get engaged with your content. Okay, the next mistake that I see people doing a lot is they're using the same hashtags over and over again. Consider this when you do that. Yes, they may be working for you, but here's the thing. You're limiting your exposure when you do that because you're going to the same people over and over again. The same people look at the same hashtags and follow the same hashtags. But if you mix it up and throw new hashtags in there, you've just expanded your territory. You're getting more eyeballs on your content, new eyeballs, fresh eyeballs. And also when you reuse the same the same hashtags over and over again, you kind of appear to be spammy. So instead, do this. Here's the fix. Build a hashtag database. Like this is a live working document that you're always adding to. So think up new phrases. And by the way, hashtags don't need to be one word. They can be long tail hashtags, which are several words together in one hashtag. It can be a phrase. So do some research, figure out what new hashtags you can add to your database. And if I were to challenge you here, I would say try and add at a minimum just 10 new hashtags a week and see what happens after a month. You will have a whole new database to pull from. And then what you'll want to do is rotate those hashtags on a regular basis. And so sometimes I like to think of hashtags in terms of categories because it helps me come up with new hashtags I can use on a day-to-day basis. So some categories you might want to consider are branded hashtags. These are hashtags that describe your business, right? So it might be your business name. It might be your tagline. It might be a service that you offer. um, It might be a special product that you offer. Something that highly describes your brand is a great hashtag category to build out. Another category you want to build out are things that describe or appeal to your target audience. You may also want to consider a local hashtag column. Using local hashtags is going to help you become that go-to expert in your community for that niche. 
And then another one you want to do is maybe product specific or service specific. And always remember, the more hashtags you use, the more you rotate through them, the more eyeballs you will get on your content. The next major mistake I see people making is only using popular hashtags. You know the ones. The ones that are in the millions that are super popular. And it's really tempting to do that because you think you're going to get a lot of eyeballs on this popular hashtag. But actually, it's not going to work that way for you. What's actually going to happen is your content is going to get lost in the crowd because that hashtag hub is updated so frequently, like on the nanosecond, that you're just going to get buried. So instead, what you want to do is actually dominate niche hashtags and connect with the people you meet there. It will serve you so much better than trying to fight for airspace in a majorly popular hashtag. Okay, so the next mistake I see people making a lot, and I'm actually surprised by this, is the failure to use hashtags at all. And I don't know why you would not wanna use hashtags because a hashtag will really help you gain exposure and exposure to the right people. When you don't use hashtags, you're only maybe going to be exposed to the people who follow you, follow you. And that's not even a hundred percent, right? Because of the way the algorithm works. But when you use hashtags, both you and your content become more recognizable, especially when you dominate those niche hashtags and it positions you again as that go-to expert in the field, because you're being seen by the people who want information on a certain topic or niche. Okay, so the final mistake that I see people making is not doing hashtag research. I know it doesn't sound edgy, fun, or sexy, but it is something that you have to do in order to reach the right people. And research means just checking out what different hashtags are out there, what content is laying in those hashtags, is it appropriate, does it align well with your brand, is it going to find you the right target market? And when you're doing your research, remember size matters, right? You don't want to go too big and you don't want to go too small. You want to be somewhere right in the middle. If I were to pick a number, the numbers that I really like, I like anywhere between like 10,000 posts in a hashtag for the low end, like that's the extreme low end. And then on the high end, I want to be around 500,000. And But my happy medium is going to be right there in the middle between 10,000 and 500,000. That way I can dominate that niche or dominate that hashtag and become that authority and go-to expert in that hashtag. Well, that does it for this episode and you've got some homework to do. Your homework is to take what you've learned here and put it into action. Do your hashtag research. Go through the mistakes that I listed and see how you can improve your hashtag game. Okay, my friends. Well, that does it for this episode. You know what to do until next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay social. Hey, before you go, I have a question for you. Are you loving the show? Let me know about it. Take a screenshot of the episode you are listening to and drop it in your social media posts or stories, or better yet, give this show a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, letting me know that you listened in. If you have a topic or show idea, please don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Send me an email or a DM. I would love to hear your suggestions. All the links are in the show notes. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you as always for tuning into the show today and every day you listen in.